Hey everybody, so this video I'm recording with my phone, just normal, because I think I figured out the volume issue with the mic, and I went to try it, and it's dead. I have too many things to do to be messing with that right now, so I thought I would just do this one just the way it is. So, I haven't done a what's on my bookshelf in a long time, and I wanted to share some stuff that's on my bookshelf. So, I'm getting ready to read a new book. And I was looking through my stash to see what I wanted to read next. And I came across some of these. Now this one, I've already read. The author's name is Debbie Burns, and they're called A Rescue Me Novel. This one's called A New Leash on Love. It's a whole series, and they're all based around this no-kill animal shelter. And um, the people who come there, the people who work there, meet each other, save dogs, animals, and you know, have relationships. So this one I read, this one was really good. A dad's coming to the shelter, I think, I don't know, I don't remember for sure, they have to get rid of their dog or something, I don't know. But they meet um, Megan, and um, yeah, they get to know each other, and he's got some kids, and she's just a single, you know, girl working at the animal shelter, and they get to know each other through, you know, what's going on at the, the shelter. This one was really good. Um, <laughs> I actually have two copies of it. Apparently I bought it twice. I hate when I do that. I have a book library on my phone, and unless I get everything logged in it, you know, it doesn't help me, right? It doesn't help me. Um, the next one is called Sit, Stay, Love. It has a German Shepherd on the cover, and I don't have that one. So I'm going to hop on Amazon. That's the next one. I'm not certain you need to read them in order. I think they might stand alone. And the main theme is just the, the shelter. But you know me, I'm going to read the second one, second, and the third one, third. So um, I go to a website called Fantastic Fiction. You can look up any author. You can find all of their novels, all of their books, um, and like when they were published. Um, you can find new books coming out. It's really handy, and that's how I found out that there's not only four, but there is a fifth one as well. So, number two, I need to get Sit, Stay, Love. Um, the third one is called Love at First Bark, and it has this border collie on it. This one is about a bunch of border collie puppies that get dumped in a park, and they have to rescue them and save them. And so, once again... Girl meets guy at the animal shelter, and they, you know, save puppies and get to know each other. There's that one. This is the fourth one. It's called My Forever Home with a husky on it, right? My Forever Home. Somebody's looking for a home. Um, vet school dropout Tessa is dreaming of her own pet therapy business when she uh, meets the guy who comes to the shelter, and um, they get to know each other that way. So there are five in the series, and you can probably now hear my Instapot starting to make a whole lot of noise because it's right behind me, and my husband has put dinner in it because, you know, it's one of those days. All we've done is run around. So I'm going to see if I can move here in a second and finish with the rest of this pile. Okay, so hopefully that helped. The Instapot is quieted down. I moved over to the other side of the counter. Let's see if we can finish at least one video because I have a whole pile of stuff that came that was on my porch today. I don't even know what half of it is. I need to get going. All right, so we've been running around today. We ran to Walmart to get some presents for our grandson's birthday. We're seeing them tomorrow. And while I was there, I saw this, and I just, I mean, I had to do it, right? It's Country Farm Scenes Coloring Book. Had to do it, had to do it, had to do it. So, if you look in here, and see, now I can't do it this way. Let me see if I can do this. My voice will probably be really loud this way. Just cute little farm scenes. I love this one. I have a thing for these old pickup trucks. I want one someday. It's going to be my flower truck. That one's a pumpkin truck, but I'll make mine a flower truck. <laughs> But it's just got cute, cute, cute little scenes in here from the country. There was one in here that I was like, okay, I'm getting it. Because it was a pond with ducks. Let me see if I can find it real quick. 
I think it was before this. There it is. There's the pond with the ducks and the cows. The cows aren't ours, but, you know, they live right next door, so I guess it counts. This one, I was just like, yep, I have to have that one. That one's too cute. So anyhow, just cute little farm and country scenes. There's the chickens and the barn. We don't have a barn like that, but, you know, it's all right. Horses. My daughter has horses. So I loved this. This was so cute. There's some more chickens. Little chicken house. Happy hen house. So I had to get this. I'm, I haven't colored hardly at all, but, you know, you know, I'll get to it someday. So we have this store in our area called Ollie's, and I don't know if you've ever heard of Ollie's, but it's like a closeout kind of store, kind of like a Big Lots. I didn't even know about it until a few years ago. It was new here, and my sister-in-law was here. She lives in North Carolina, and she was like, oh, you guys have an Ollie's now. We got to go to Ollie's. First time I'd ever been in there. They have a huge book section, huge. Things aren't necessarily really current books because they're closeouts, but they have a lot of coloring books. I got this one. This one was $1.99, $1.99, Zen Doodle Gardens, Enchanting Gardens. So it's all flowers, and I really want to start working on flowers and how to shade flowers better and give them more depth and all that. Look at those. They're so pretty. There's some fantastic pictures in here. Some are a little easier, have a little bigger blocks to color, and some are more intricate. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? For $1.99, really? How could I not, you know, I love this one. How could I not pick this up? Look at that. So pretty. Oh, my goodness. That will be so fun. Zinnias. They look like zinnias. So there's that. Oh, look at that. Whew. That looks like a lot of work. All right. So that one is really pretty. And then I found this one, which is Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book. You know, this has got, this one's interesting. Look at that. Have a deer with jewels. Some have black. Some have all black backgrounds. There's the tiger slinking through the jungle. Ooh, he's sly. Bunch of trees. I want to practice coloring leaves and trees. There you go. Turtles and snakes. Fish. More deer. And there's one that's an all black background. That would be cool. We'll do some gel pens or something and watch the color just pop right off there. A peacock. It's amazing, right? So this is all Jungle Book with some actual, you know, words from the actual Jungle Book. Old Baloo, who can come and go where he pleases. Pretty cool, huh? So, yeah. Oh, look it. There he is. There's Mowgli. Isn't he Mowgli? Is that his name? I don't know. Anyhow. Then they had this. Oh, that was $1.99. This one was $1.29, and this is all mandalas, 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 however you want to say it, little bitty ones. Look at that. That's cool. Ooh, that's really cool. like that. Look at that one. They almost look like snowflakes. This will be fun. I know Stitcherista takes like three or four different color Sharpies and just repeats the patterns, and I think that'd be cool. I wanted to try some. Neat, huh? That one's like, whoo, I almost get dizzy looking at that. So a whole bunch of mandalas. And then these, oh my goodness, I love this. These came as a set, and I love these. I didn't even know that it had this little instruction booklet, how to color. It's like colored pencils and brush markers and gel pens, and it gives you some hints and tips on how to color and blend and yeah so that came with directions but look at it's these ladies i love these these sisterhood ladies i love them they are so fun and the sayings that they have are just hysterical so this would be like me and my group yeah this is me and my group there's five of us there we are you know i say i'm the gray one here although i I washed those grays right out, but nah, that would be me though if I, you know, didn't do that. <laughs> so anyhow, here's a small one, and look at choose to make your life amazing. Look at she's a mermaid girl. Look at her, she's cute. Age is nothing but a state of mind. I love these. These are so cute. I love these girls. Ooh, what about these girls? Your time has come. Yes, ma'am, it has. 
and reading is like dreaming with your eyes wide open. So these are quick little small. There's another small one. This is, I've seen this before. If first plan doesn't work, try plan B, right? Try plan B. She's fun. I like her. So again, a small one. Make waves and really rock the world. Hmm, rise by lifting others. I got these cards in them. Like, you can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep reading the last one. <laughs> I did that for too long. Yep. Don't let your frame of mind frame you in. Aren't they cute? So cute. And then there's some big ones. And here's the girls. We used to be a group of four girls, and then we added a friend from work, and then we became a group of five. So, yeah. They're so cute. I love these girls. So, in the front, look, there's some boots. A bling. Boots and bling. It's a cowgirl thing. Oh, I love that. Just love that. I, I'm going to have to find that picture in here. I have to do that one. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Peace. Peace, peace. So you could get inspiration on how to color them. There's a whole bunch of them that are colored. And then the gathering of the goddesses. There we go. They are the goddesses. And there you can learn how to color it. Isn't it cool? Oh, that's the same one that was in the small book. Silliness makes your soul smile. I love these. Never judge a book by its movie. <laughs> how true is that? Wow. Flip-flops make your toes feel like they're on vacation every single day. I just threw out a pair of my favorite flip-flops. I just, I about cried. First pair of flip-flops I paid $30 for in my whole life. Life is all about finding people who are your kind of wacky. Absolutely. So then there's another one. And I love this girl on the cover. Look at her. She got her big hoops, her helicopter hat, and I don't know what these are. They remind me of truffle of trees or something, if you know what that is. Pretending to be a normal person day after day is exhausting. No kidding. So here's some coloring tips in this one, too. Age is nothing but a state of mind. I like her with her birthday hat on. She's sassy. Look at it. <laughs> Aren't they cool? Oh, there's the girl with the hoops and the truffle of trees on her head. So I just, I could not. This whole set was $4.99. Yeah, $4.99. And there are four coloring books here. Too small and too large. Love it. Okay, okay. Boots don't count when he says you have too many shoes. <laughs> ah. Now I'm going to do a cowgirl. I'm going to do a boot one. There's a few boot ones. That's the first one I found, but there's a few boot ones. I'm going to do one of those. I love this. I am wearing my big girl panties, but they're starting to bunch. Don't mess with me. My big girl panties are bunching. Yeah. Here it is. Make sure you know how to use the pointy end of your boot. That's right. Boot in the butt. Yep. I love these. They are so fun. I kiss better than I cook, and I'm a pretty good cook. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of coloring books. That's on my bookshelf. Um, I could, I, I can't link them. I mean, they were a closeout at the closeout store, but I will link the Debbie Burns books in the bottom. And keep working with this um, mic recording program. Ugh. I think it will be better. Once I get it working, but I just have to work the bugs out. So, yeah, bear with me. Just bear with me. I know you will. So, anyhow, thanks for liking the video, subscribing, um, supporting my channel in all the ways that you do. Comments are wonderful. I try to respond to everybody. So, yeah, keep it coming. I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, hey, share what's on your bookshelf because I love to read. I love books. And apparently coloring books, I must have about 30 now, probably. Yeah. You know, as people that collect things, yeah, I collect. Like apparently I'm collecting coloring books now, too. Anyhow, I will talk to you guys later. So stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you on that one.